It is a busy day for the residents of Maiduguri as flood waters ravage almost half of the city. The floods have significantly destroyed houses as well as business areas. The flood is as a result of the overflow of water at the Alau Dam situated on the outskirts of Maiduguri. And the heavy rainfall witnessed over the past weeks further caused the dam to overflow. The flood has left a trail of destruction with water everywhere, including the post office, which is currently under water. We were caught off guard by this unexpected incident. We are desperately in need of help. He said, we are in dire need of help. We are in an emergency situation, and if nothing is done, people will die of hunger. We, the less privileged, urgently appeal to the government for assistance. We are in a state of dear need and require immediate support to overcome this challenging situation. This is not the first time the state has faced such flooding. Similar events occur over the past 30 years. Authorities in Borno State has begun evacuating victims to a temporary shelter offering secured and temporary accommodation for those forced to flee their homes. Meanwhile, Nigerian Vice President Kashim Shetima has arrived in Maiduguri to offer his condolences to the affected residents and assess the extent of damage caused by the devastating flood. Your Eminence, we are here at the directive of President Bola Abnachinibu to commiserate with the government and people of Borno State, most especially His Excellency the Governor, and Your Eminence, the power of the state, over the very catastrophic flooding incident this morning that devastated a greater chunk of my degree metropolis. The president has directed us to come along with the Minister of Agriculture, with the DG of NEMA and the Federal Commissioner for Refugees Commission. And I equally in turn requested our members of the National Assembly and our Deputy National Chairman to accompany us to come and solidarize with the government and people of Borno State and your eminence over the sad incident. The city of Mweduguri is in turmoil as devastating flood ravaged the capital of Borno State, forcing many to abandon their homes and seek safety elsewhere. The flood have also submerged critical facilities such as the hospitals, schools, market, worship centers, and even the Shehu's palace, highlighting the need for immediate emergency aid from the government and humanitarian agencies to support those impacted by this disaster. In Mweduguri, Sani Adamu, Arise News.